Guys, we're taking a run into the bush. Um, yeah, snow banks are a little higher since that storm we had last week. I'm gonna take a run into the cabin and see if I can't finish doing the, uh, you know, the audio book report. Not report, I guess, book reading. And, uh, and just get things cleaned up for spring, get the bear proofing on if I have time. Yeah, boy, boy. There's like a foot and a half of snow on top of my trail there. So I might go around the lake today instead of across. I'm not sure what kind of slush is going to be in there. But, oh, and I just wanted to mention too, there's a, a new new guy on the Trapper channel. He's a called Wyoming Trapper. Check it out. Got some cool footage. Awesome scenery around there. Anyways. The, uh, yeah, beautiful spring day. Gonna get going. Catch you down there. Hey guys. Well, we made her into the cabin. Lots of fur sign everywhere. Links just all over the place. I saw maybe five or six Martin tracks, so that's pretty good considering the most of the trails through old cutover. Um, some fox, lots of wolf, but just tons and tons of lynx. Um, and here, with this warm weather, you see what... Oh, snow's up past my knees. Remember I mentioned about how the water just gets on top of the ice and just keeps going. Look how... Uh, under the water my bridge is now. Well, with this weather, the, that uh, water will sooner or later create a hole through the ice somewhere and it'll start draining and get things back to normal. That's the highest I've ever seen it in the winter time though. Cool. I see Mr. Fox has been all around. Some Martin up here. Mr. Fox all over the deck. Sniffing it out. I left some food for him here last time I was here, so he's been scrounging for more. He's even been sitting up on my chair. Look at that. What a guy. Look, he had his front feet there and his back feet there, sitting all relaxed. <laughs> he was even up here. <laughs> Maybe that wasn't Martin. Maybe that was just the fox going up there and then coming out here. That's funny. Do we have a trail camera to see that, eh? We shall uh, get in here, have a coffee, see if I can't get that book finished, but I'm guessing I won't, there's still quite a bit. And a nice ride in here though. Shoot, I forgot to reset my uh, mouse traps. Well. Life goes on. I already seen a bit. Hey there guys, just on the way out. And I uh, noticed a spot on the way in, but I blew right past it so I didn't have time. We can see here there's a probably a lynx or a martin caught a, a grouse here. And uh you can see from the sign all the way around here or there, that was probably a whiskey jack or a magpie. That wing mark there is probably a, a raven or something, or it could have been even a, a big owl caught it. I don't, I didn't 
you know, I've driven over the trail, so I don't know if there's any lynx tracks here, but there's none going away. So it could even have been that owl right there that caught this grouse and ate it. But, you know, when I went by and, and saw the thing and just remind me, I had a discussion with my buddy Bill from Ontario there the other day. And they have a, you know, the highest lynx population in the White River area where I used to trap that they've had in forever. And, uh, you know, the rabbits died this year. So they've got, lynx are just starving to death. You know, he's had a couple that were right in town. He One he had to go shoot because it wouldn't get out of this person's yard. It was trying to get their little dog. And he said it was just skin and bones when he, when he skinned it. But, uh, you know, it, it, what he said what's going on is, you know, it just made me realize how different the, uh, the government uh, is there now. Because, you know, back when I was there, you know, we'd have our quota of animals to catch. Lynx, marten, all those, beaver. And, you know, if, you know, say my quota was 60 on marten or five on lynx, whatever, and there was a lot of animals around, you know, we'd tell the game warden, and the game warden would either come out and double check to make sure there's still lots assigned, and they'd increase our quota. Um, you know, but, you know, Bill said they tried to get his quota of lynx increased to six, or from six, and uh, they just said no. And he said, well, Jesus, they're, they're all dying of starvation. He said, there's going to be none left there next year. They're all going to be gone. Like they do every, you know, 10 years or so when the rabbits die, the lynx all die out and it's all died of starvation. You know, so now they're killing the fox and eating them. The, you know, lynx will prey on the fox when the rabbits turn around. But the, the government's answer was, oh, well, that's mother nature. Just let it take its course. You know, which... You know, begs to have one think, well, people have been harvesting animals for, since before we were called people or whatever you want to, whether you're a evolutionist or a, or not. But, you know, there's people were always catching animals for skins to, for clothing and whatnot. So is that not part of mother nature too? Why let the animals starve to death? It's just... And just makes me wonder, like I've always said, I would love to move back there, but the, you know, with all the stuff I see on the news about the government there, that liberal bullshit that they, um, yeah, it just makes me wonder if I ever would want to move back there. But anyways, the, uh, you know, the whole Lynx starving to death thing because of the rabbits, well, which isn't going to happen here. I, I've seen probably eight or nine sets of lynx tracks today so which is great you know still lots of rabbits as you can see there are rabbit trails all across this tra road here um, there's even rabbit or lynx tracks in the cutover close to my camp which is not a good rabbit area because they uh, they sprayed that cutover and there's very little undergrowth it's just pure jack pine and stuff there's not a lot of rabbit type food there so um, but there was even lynx tracks through there today. So that's, that's good. And uh, I think, like I said, five or six marten tracks. Wolf tracks all over the place. And even a few places on my way back, there was deer walked on my trail. Right uh, since I went in there a couple hours ago. So, but I mean, look at that sky, will ya? Is that just a beautiful March day or what? get any better than these boys. <laughs> I don't know if you guys from the States have seen that commercial. It's a milk commercial. Pretty funny stuff. Anyways, see you down the trail. Keep the boots dry, hey? Eh?